280Z owners, first year fuel injection, um, 280ZX, 2 plus 2 GLs, 2.8 liters, straight sixes basically. Um, just a little FYI, um, things I've come across, things that you're having problems. Um, if you have a 280ZX uh, fuel injection and you have an AFM, which you do, which is your air fuel meter. You also have a throttle position sensor, which is not really a sensor, it's a switch. Let me tell you the difference between the runnability problems that you will have. If your AFM is fouled, if the uh, temperature sen sensor inside of it is failing, because you have five circuits, you will have an extremely rich condition. It's just like a mass airflow. Um, if you have an extremely rich condition and it's runnability problems, it's bogging out, um, black soot coming out the tailpipe, check your AFM, exchange it, go to O'Reilly's, go to a parts place where you get a lifetime warranty, change it out. That's where your problem lies. It is extremely rich. It dumps fuel. You can't explain it. Yeah, you need to check your... Um, ICM, you need to have everything working properly and all that. Double check your AFM, change it out. That's where just kicking out black smoke, just extremely rich, you can smell it. Now, if you are driving the car and you are having problems with uh, the idle circuit or wide open throttle or cruise circuit, there are three circuits. Um, and I'll show you later with those uh, in taking them apart. That throttle position sensor, or should I say switch, communicates this information to the computer along with the AFM. Two totally different things. So if you have AFM is fouling, you will have extremely rich runnable conditions. It doesn't matter if you increase air, if you're idle and all that it'll just always be rich run like crap now when you're driving and say you drive seven or ten miles and it starts sputtering and spitting and act like it wants to die you push in the clutch it dies and all that well that is your that's your throttle position switch or sensor what they call it because every you know different ways of saying it now two totally different things but they correlate they communicate with each other to the computer and the computer makes the decision. Now, if you're driving and it's starting to die, um, spit and sputtering on the, on the road, while as you're driving, then that means that your cruise circuit or your, uh, say your wide open throttle, you hit it wide open and it, and it works fine. You go back you lay off the pedal and start spitting and sputtering and act like it's want to die. That's your throttle position switch or sensor. Is not within spec. It's supposed to be within 1400 RPMs of continuity on your throttle. So when you check the prongs, you only got three prongs. It should be, when you hit 1400, you should have continuity. If you cannot get in that range, your throttle position switch is bad. Um, that is your drivability problems because if you can hit wide open throttle and it runs great but it won't cruise or it won't idle, then your throttle position switch is faulty, which will make you crazy because you'll have the throttle position switch or sensor going bad and then you also have the AFM which is rich. So you're going back and forth between the two things. Two totally different things though. Your AFM makes it run extremely rich all the time. No matter what you do, you can increase idle. You can increase all this other stuff uh, on the idle circuit, increase air, and you'll still have a rich condition. Does not matter. That's your AFM. Those are the symptoms. On your throttle position sensor or switch, again, it's when you're idle, it runs like crap, you, it, it, you hit 1400, it feels like you got to hit 2800 or 3200 RPMs 
for it to engage and then it's like wide open throttle it runs great like no problems so check into those two things we're trying to keep these cars on the road um, and enjoy Burkhart out